guys once again welcome back to the automation revolution uh, today in this video uh, we are going to uh, make quick commissioning in Siemens G120 uh, AC drive so in our previous video we have seen uh, two types of drive AC and DC so today in this video we will uh, make quick commissioning for this Siemens G120 AC drive so first of all I will uh, show you a different module so you can see uh, this is control module uh, we can uh, remove from there and uh, this is intelligence operating panel IOP uh, so this IOP also we can uh, remove from this module so I am just pressing this button and uh, I can remove this IOP so I IOP is intelligence operating panel and from this IOP uh, we can enter uh, the parameter JSON and uh, make quick commissioning this is control module and uh, you can see there are uh, many digital and analog input and output uh, we can connect uh, with the field area or from field sensor uh, input and output here we have a uh, profibus dp port that we can connect with other devices who are supporting with profinet here we have mini usb port that we can connect with the uh, pc system or uh, any software uh, from this usb cable and downside uh, we have profinet port also that we can connect so you can see there are a uh, number of input and output uh, switches we have connected with this uh, input output then uh, we will see this is a uh, power module so in power module we have uh, IGBTs and this IGBTs will work as an uh, inverter and uh, ultimately we are providing the supply to motor from this uh, power module so you can see uh, in downside we have connected this uh, power cable uh, with this uh, motor little information about this induction motor uh, we can get from this name plate so IP uh, IP class duty and RPM power factor ampere and kilowatt capacity voltage frequency every detailed information we are getting from this name plate if you want to know about uh, drive uh, detail uh, serial number MRP number so that uh, detail we can get from this name plate from the drive downside uh, this cable is uh, providing pa power uh, source to this power module and uh, from this control unit we are getting this output that uh, output is connected with this uh, induction motor now we will see the quick, quick commissioning so, uh, this IOP so now i will uh, power up the drive and in this IOP panel we are getting uh, this button so I will uh, explain you uh, the detailed information about this button so first uh, this is push wheel and this push wheel is uh, changing the value and uh, we can set or we can confirm the value uh, by pressing this uh, push wheel and here we have escape button so this escape takes you to back on previous screen this info button uh, will provide you additional information about parameterization and uh, this green button uh, will start the motor in manual mode and this red button will stop the motor in manual this hand and auto uh, switch the command source between hand and auto now first uh, we will see the basic view and upside we are getting uh, plus or minus rpm and downside we are getting uh, output voltages and here we have three options wizard control and menu so wizard assist you to set up a standard application then control allow you to uh, change the set point values and uh, different uh, turning di uh, direction left activities and it can also switch it to uh, joke function and real time menu uh, gives you all possible functionalities that we will see in detail first of all uh, we will I reset the drive and uh, we'll start quick commissioning so by changing uh, this field I will go into wizard and in this wizard we are getting uh, three options from there we will go into basic commissioning I will press button and this I hope is asking about first factory reset so first we'll reset this drive so all parameter uh, what we have entered before that 
that will be erased and now from the first we will start quick commissioning in the commissioning uh, we are entering uh, the motor data as per the uh, rated speed rated voltage rated current that everything details uh, information we will enter in this commissioning so this reset will take some time So factory reset is uh, done and now we'll continue. Here uh, first we'll select the control mode. So here we buy uh, linear characteristics we'll select. You can select based on application. So first we'll select this V by F characteristics with linear application. And here we will enter motor data. So right now we have connected induction motor that we'll select and the motor voltage so as per the motor uh, rated rpm uh, voltage we will enter 4 uh, 15 voltage so by uh, changing this wheel we can set the data so for 15 voltage we will set then motor current here we have uh, 0.61 motor current I will set 0.61 then the motor speed so rated motor speed you can set as per the name plate here for this motor we have 1370 that will set so this is the motor rated rpm and then power rating here we have 0 0.18 kilowatt then power factor here we have 0.73 and then maximum motor speed so based on load or application you can set right now I will keep uh, 1500 maximum rpm then motor rated frequency so as per Indian standard uh, we keep 50 hertz motor cooling type if you are using uh, cooling motor cooling so you can enable this uh, motor temperature sensor we have connected uh, so you can keep uh, this thermocouple or RTD but right now we will not use this sensor motor data identification uh, if you are using this identification so you can use for standstill condition and rotation uh, here we will disable this motor data identification motor holding uh, brake configuration so as of now we will disable this option no motor holding brakes being used and continue the macro cells uh, allows you to configure the detail about how you can uh, use uh, input and output so based on uh, the standard input output with uh, MOP or analog set point you can change here uh, we are getting so many options so process input output with field bus and two wire four device uh, two wire four device two so this all are option uh, this options will uh, allows you to configure from panel and here I will keep
standard I/O with analog set point. And then standard telegram. So this uh, facility is provided by uh, Siemens. When uh, we are uh, controlling the drive from the PLC, that time uh, we are configuring this standard telegram that we will see in the next video. Then FM vector we will continue. A ramp up time we can set. So right now I will keep this ramp up time. 5 second so in this 5 seconds its motor will get maximum uh, rpm and from the ramp down time it will takes into minimum rpm and here we are getting a total summary uh, for the quick commissioning so all data we can confirm one time and then we will continue so after confirming uh, this value we will go for continue and we will save the data into drive so now we have uh, saved this data as per the uh, motor nameplate and uh, we have successfully done the quick commit thing then we will enable uh, any uh, digital input from this panel and uh, from analog set point we will change uh, motor rpm then we have saved this data Now I will uh, enable a digital input. So you can see here we are getting uh, this voltage and RPM. Now I will uh, vary with this port. So based on this volt change, we are changing this RPM. That we can see in this motor so this is how we can uh, make quick commissioning with this drive with intelligent operating panel in very short time in next video we will uh, see plc2 uh, drive communication uh, from this uh, telegram software so please keep watching